Hi, I'm Sam Meredith. Today we're taking a closer look at the Canadian economy in light of some key data releases this week. Joining me to discuss the Great White North is PureFX economist Peter Laval. Canada's current account data has been released today, which shows for the first quarter of 2015 a deficit now standing at minus $17.5 billion. But to what extent is this likely to impact on the Canadian economy moving forwards? I think it's going to have a negative effect on the Canadian economy looking forward. This is because the reason why the deficit has increased is because oil prices have fallen quite substantially, and oil is one of Canada's, Canada's biggest exports. So looking ahead, if, if Canada is getting even less money for its exports, that's going to reflect badly in the economy. If you look at the last two months, for instance, Canada's economy has barely grown. This is because of uh, the huge shock from the fall of uh, oil prices, and that doesn't look like it's going to change any time in the future. The Bank of Canada opted against another rate cut on Wednesday, keeping interest rates unchanged at 0.75% and pointed to an imminent rebound in the US as a key factor. Ahead of Canada's GDP data release on Friday, how are you projecting the Canadian dollar to respond to the US data? Well, if the US economy continues to improve, that's going to impact on the Canadian dollar in a number of ways. Most immediately, you'd expect the Canadian dollar to weaken against the US dollar because obviously if the US economy is improving, that's going to result in US dollar strength. At the same time, if the US, if the US economy improves, that's going to give Canada a, a bigger export for its markets, uh, a bigger, I'm sorry, market for its exports. And if Canada exports more, that obviously means that the Canadian economy will grow as well. So it could go either way. It, it, could, it could strengthen, it could not. Lastly for today, what can traders following the Canadian dollar look out for in the short term? Are there any potential market movers to keep our eyes on? Well, tomorrow you've got the Canadian GDP data for March. Um, it's widely expected that the economy will broadly flatline. Uh, Bank, of Gov- Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Pollard gave a speech last week saying that he expects the Canadian economy to not really grow during the first quarter. So it would be quite surprising, for instance, if there was growth. On the other hand, it's quite difficult to see where any growth would come from, given that uh, the value of Canada's exports is falling. Canada's households are indebted about 163%, which means there's not much room for uh, domestic growth. There's not much domestic demand. Looking into next week, we've also got uh, Canada's, manu- Canada's manufacturing data, its export data as well. Um, we also expect these to be fairly weak, given, as I say, the term oil is one of Canada's biggest exports. Looking, looking at the head of next week, I would expect more Canadian dollar weakness. Thank you, Peter. Check back with Duke Scopi for more updates throughout the week. Goodbye for now.